back to my channel. So today is classroom setup day, um, part two. I'm actually teaching summer school, so please check out those videos. I'll put um, a bar up linking my latest video. Um, so I'm actually here after summer school. I was hoping to get a little bit of classroom setup done um, this afternoon, a few things. I wanted to show you um, some things that I got from Ikea, rearrange some things um, in the classroom and kind of make myself a list of things that I still need to get to be able to work more. And just kind of show you where we're at classroom rise. My thought process is for classroom setup part two, it'll actually be a kind of a compilation of after school or a couple days this week. Um, so I'll show you a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow, and then I'll kind of put that part together to form um, a video, a classroom setup video. So let's go over what I need to do. <laughs> So, y'all see it? The desk is gone! Yay! So happy. They came and got the desks today because I guess they're warehousing them. Um, and I think they went and just put them all in a central location in the building. So, that is gone. My trash has just been emptied. So, I have some uh, kind of a fresh start with that. That's such a big deal because I, I threw so much away the week before we left. Um, current state of the room has not much has changed since the last video if you haven't seen classroom setup part one i'll link it um above but yeah i did remember this guy today so i'm going to empty him out into my filing cabinet get all of that organized this is like august through i think october in this one i have three of these things y'all um and then look let me spin you around so you can see three of these things but look at this, y'all. Whoop. Boom. I don't know how well you can tell, but that, that thing leans. <laughs> this is where, about where it's, oh, hold on. Right about there is where it's supposed to be. <laughs> and I know it's really, really full. It's kind of loaded down. It's probably exceeding the recommended weight limit for the wheels. But I'm going to get all of that stuff out of there. Um, all three of mine, I've had the same problem with. Once you start putting stuff in it, it leans one way or the other. So that's one reason I don't like it. I think I'm going to use that for my small groups so that I can get rid of that. Or I may keep that and then just actually use that for small groups and use this for like storage for small groups for like books and stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, this is all of my center stuff. I need to get that pile situated and put that in there. Um, here's a question I have for you. How do you guys store your center stuff? If you can show a picture or send me a picture or however, I have all of these bins. They're labeled by month, uh, math, February, math, or literacy, February, math, March, literacy, March, and so forth and so on. That's what all of those are. And, but they're, I've got so many centers, they're coming out of those. So I need a better idea. I've seen like big giant bins. I don't have the storage for big giant bins like, um, what um, kindergarten smorgasbord uses. You know, he's got that wonderful closet. Nope, don't have that. So I can't, I can't get big giant bins. I don't know. That's, that's about what I've, what I've come up with. I do have some stored in these bins um, and those bins definitely hold more, but they're pricey. So I don't want to necessarily have to go out and buy new bins. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, let me show you my Ikea stuff. So I got, this is a box of clothes for a friend of mine. Um, I got a bunch of these. These are on sale right now at Ikea. I think they're like a dollar nine cents or a dollar ten cents or dollar something like that for five. Um, and I put tape on them. Show you over here. I put tape around them and it makes them last a whole lot more. So I put a piece of duct tape starting at the top all the way, one continuous solid piece all the way around. And then I put the little clear pocket in the front. This one's all ripped up. Put the little clear pocket in the front and then put their um, name, I slide their name or number in that. And then that's what they used for centers last year with these little things. I don't know what I'll use them for this year, but they were so cheap. I got like six packs for, you know, seven bucks or something like that. So I got a whole bunch of packs I got two more of these guys to go over there. They're going to hold our um, Ziploc bags, tissue, that sort of thing. Kind of extra supplies. They're fairly cheap. I think I want to say they were like 
10 bucks for the for each maybe cheaper than that actually pretty cheap more of those got this from target um i think i saw this on like tiktok somebody uh, recommended you just take a picture of it blank and then you put it in powerpoint and you fill in all of this stuff so i don't know who said that or who i got that off of maybe i saw it on um facebook i don't know i picked up this thing to put um, my ipad or whatever on when i'm working at my table i don't know if i'll use it but it was a couple bucks so i got it um i got some of these these were just two dollars each oh they go on my black cart that's in my other room um i'll show those to you later when i bring my back black cart back down here then i got some pens for them to use during writing time or whatever these were just a couple bucks and then i got a jar for like estimation jar or something i don't know a jar again a couple bucks so the most expensive thing i bought was these Ikea has fantastic tubs and everything else, but again, I don't really need a whole lot. I knew I needed those two things, and then like the rest was just kind of icing on the cake. So what am I going to get done today? I'm going to get this thing emptied, and I'll try to film a little bit while I'm doing that. Um, I want to get those hung or at least moved somewhere so they don't get damaged sitting there. I hang those over my tables on my ceiling. Um, Here's a tip for you so that you don't waste paper clips and whatnot. Magnets work so much better. I got these little magnets from the farmer's supply store. Y'all, like a four pack of magnets from the farmer's supply store. I can't remember. It was so cheap for good heavy duty magnets. This is just whatever just kind of string I had in my thing. And then it will like stick to those um, beams because those are magnetic. Um, or some kind of metal, I'm sure, but it's just easy. Flip, click them up there. Um, these are hung with um, there's like sticky, not sticky clips. The um, <sighs> command hooks, the teeny, teeny, tiny ones. I don't know if I can zoom in enough to where you can see them. See that? I just put the command hooks with the clear piece on them, so they hang, and then those hang. And then when my students do work, I simply staple it, or not staple it, but tape it on either side of the shark, and that hangs down. So those stay up all year, and then the student work will be around. I actually would like to get more of them up. Um, like I've, that one's like missing their little sharky guy. So I would like to get those out of the way just so they don't get damaged. I'm definitely gonna get that thing emptied and put into my filing cabinet. I'm gonna move this guy, you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna get started so that I don't talk for a million and one years and make this video super long. And I will show you where we're at when I'm done. Okay, friends. Um, so that didn't work out very well for me. Something I realized that I didn't plan on. I don't know. I, I guess I remember um, it being this way, but when I got these things, because I viewed this as like a file folder itself, so I didn't put things in file folders to put in there. I had some file folders that I created before I used these things. But after I got these things, I didn't put things in file folders. So 
my stuff is just like, look at this. It's just falling out all over the place. Um, this whole pile right here is not in a file folder. Um, I got to get file folders for that. So that pile is going to stay right there, unfortunately, for today. Um, another thing is I have some units that we don't really even do anymore because they don't really make sense. Let me put you down. For example, ooh, hi, ha. Huh? For this example, this one, fire safety. I'm going to put it in my little thing because I guess we might come back to it, but it's there. I guess I think my plan is if I don't use it this year, then it's not going to get used again. So I'm going to chunk it. So I'm just moving this guy back across the room over here to my little small group area. Can I tell you guys how much I love my small group area being over here? Okay, so he still leans. The stupid cart still leans. I don't know if you can see. If I don't balance it correctly, it just kind of leans over. So I know it's, you see that? I know it's not gonna stay. And you can't take the wheels off because it can't sit, that I, that I think this one will anyway. It won't sit correctly on the little pegs. So it may be going to the trash. I'm going to bring another one up tomorrow and then one on Wednesday so that I get them out of our office. Um, this guy is trash. This table is going to move. I shouldn't call this a table. This shelf is going to move right here for now. We'll see if I like that. Mm, probably not. I don't know. It's going to stay there for now. My shelf right there, my white one, I need to move that. Um, I think I'm going to move that shelf. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. What am I going to do? Okay, I got to get my wagon empty. So let me get let me get this wagon empty. And let me put you down so that I'm not distracted and I'm going to get some stuff done. Two tips. Tip number one, poster board. I always find that during the school year, I need a sheet of poster board because we'll get like a message saying, hey, by the way, it's Secretary's Day or we're going to appreciate our um, crosswalk people and I will have forgotten. Um, and rather than having all of the students make a whole bunch of cards, we'll make like one big giant poster board to give it to them. So buy poster boards from Dollar Tree. I think they're two for 50 cents or two for a dollar, something cheap. I get like eight poster boards at the beginning of the year and I put them, see my filing cabinet? They're kind of hidden right there along the wall so that I always have one. And then when I notice I'm getting down to like my last couple, I'll go buy a couple more. Um, Dollar Tree is the best place to get them. Um, the sticker sticks to one side, but sometimes that can be worked out. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is instead of, ooh, okay, uh, instead of throwing away your file folders when you clean them out, throw away the stuff that's in them, recycle the stuff that's in them, and then save the file folder because you can always put a label with a new name over it. Um, and then also when I was pulling out my ikea stuff just now i don't remember where i put the receipt um anyway i looked at the receipt to see how much i spent i got two sets of markers the glass jar the ipad stand six sets of those boxes that's 30 because there's five in each um those two bins and something else is that it the glass jar for the stand six sets of boxes, two packs of markers, and those bins. Oh no, and I got some coat hangers for my kids at home as well. Anyway, and that was all $48 um, for all of that. These bins are only $9.99. So um, I thought I would show you the name of them. I know it's upside down. Um, I'll put the name in it right here. They're called Sorteras um, and make sure you get the lids, but the 
I guess item code is like 18809 if you have to order them or if you have an Ikea, I definitely recommend these bins. They do make bigger ones. The bigger ones may have been the ones that were $12.99, um, but I don't have any space for the bigger ones. These fit perfectly underneath my, oh, gracious sakes, underneath my um, thing over there, my countertop. So, yeah. Hi, friends. So, this is day two of um, part two of my classroom setup. Um, I had a little bit more time in here today, so I thought I would do a little bit more filming today than I could have gotten done yesterday. I think yesterday when I left off, um, I was still fidgeting with the files in the filing cabinet. That just was a headache yesterday. It wasn't hard to get them in, but because I had so many that weren't in file folders, it it was like a mental block. I, and then I just gave up and I got frustrated and dealing with all of our um, house stuff where we're trying to buy a house. I just, I walked out and I forgot to like say anything else or film anything, which I didn't really do anything yesterday. So you didn't miss much. I just kind of emptied that and that was it. Um, so I think I said yesterday that I would love to know how you guys store your centers, if you have, if you print off and make your own centers, I'd love to know how you store them. So leave me a comment down below and let me know. Um, I want, my intention is to go through all of my center bins, make sure they're organized, but I don't know if I want to do that before I get new center bins or whatever I decide to do. <sighs> because I have that stuff that I pulled out of the filing cabinet. I have like duplicates of duplicate. I don't know. It's just, I hate to throw it all away because it's good ink and it's good paper. But if I already have it and it's laminated and it's done, I don't really feel the need to hold on to it and have it take up space. You know what I'm saying? So I've only been in here for a few minutes doing a few things. Um, I couldn't record because I had to charge my battery on my camera. Um, so it's got a smidge of a charge right now. I didn't want to keep going without checking in with you and showing you. Um, but because I've done so much recording today during school, it just wore out. Um, so don't forget to check out that vlog. I'll link it um, in a card above. But I did want to show you what I've done in here. So I'm going to flip you around and I'm going to walk through where I'm at, what I'm thinking, what I'm doing. And then I'm going to try to record a little bit as I'm doing things and just try to wrap up part two of classroom setup. So this is the state of my desk. I think I told you last time that I wanted to take all of those home, put them in my dishwasher, so I need to put them in like a basket and put them in my wagon so I actually do that. Otherwise, they'll just keep staying here. <laughs> um, those are decks of cards that I actually got donated from a casino because casinos have to change out their cards. It's either every night or every other, I don't know. Um, but we did a big like math night when I taught in Arkansas and the closest casino to us was in... Uh, it's in Mississippi, I think. So we drove to that casino and got donated cards. And they most casinos will donate. So those are decks of cards. And I want to, I used to have them in these. But when I put the letters in those, I took them all out. So um, I need to get some more bins. I think they would fit really well in those glue boxes bins that I use. But I need to get more of those. So I need to go to the Dollar Tree and get those. And this is just kind of a pile of stuff I need to go through. My energy drink right there, y'all. Um, nothing much has changed here. I did try to kind of clean this area up just because it was bugging me a little bit. I moved my lamp down a little bit. Oh, I did move that thing over here. Um, I figured I might be able to put like, this is usually used for um, like stuff that comes in that I need to go through, stuff that I need to file stuff that I'm waiting for more information on, things that need attention immediately, and anything I want to copy goes in here. But a lot of times it ends up with just, I'm just shoving stuff in it just to get it off my desk for groups. So we're gonna try it again, see how it works. I had another one at home of these. These are from Ikea. I had another one at home of this, um, and it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and that worked pretty well, but it's at home. So I just have this one here. I will say you have to be careful because they're a little bit wobbly. Um, and I use that thing over there for my daily stuff. 
but that thing gets to be a bit of a pain in the neck. So I don't know if I'll keep doing that. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Nothing much has changed over here. I moved that cabinet sideways so that I could put those things on top. I don't know if I'll leave them there. I think I might move them down and put like fun pencils and stuff on here. I have this thing from surprise, surprise, Ikea. Um, I think it was like a dollar or less than a dollar. And I might put pencils and fun stuff for writing center in here. I could put some stickers in those small ones and um, crayons, markers, colored pencils, that sort of thing in it um, rather than having a whole bunch of little metal containers. I moved those guys over here for writing. This will be my writing table when all that's gone. That is a thing from Ikea for centers. My mailboxes haven't moved. That still looks the same. I haven't gotten anything up there, so I do still have a lot of space. I think that this is where I'm going to put my centers um, instead of over there because I think that looks messy over there. So I think I'm going to put them up here um, and organize them. I moved the cabinet that was right there over there behind where I'm going to be teaching because I thought I might be able to put some stuff on it and then reorganize it so it's a little bit more effective for me for stuff that I need. So that was the plan behind that one. I still need to get my chair from the other room for this little spot. And that's still my low table. I don't know if it's going to stay there. It's going to stay there for now, but it, I don't know. And there's my center stuff. Not much has changed. I haven't done a whole lot. That's the state of my filing cabinet. So I did not bring another set of files up today because my husband took our van to get new brakes and I brought my tiny little marshmallow car. I have a Prius, so it wouldn't have fit. It didn't come. But I think that that looks better. I still think I need something here because I don't like how that juts out, but I have a shelf in my neighbor's room that I moved over for COVID that I might put there and then I could put a center there instead. Or I might move that thing over here and make this a center. Um, but I liked that over there because, well, I could still hang it. I don't know. I'm playing around with ideas. Um, I do still love my arrangement um, of things. I still think everything looks better with that over there and the desk gone. Um, I don't really, I'm to the point now where I don't really have a plan because I've gotten the furniture in place. I need to bring up my couch because that's another big piece of furniture. Um, and I need to clean those out and get those put away. I also need to clean out all of this stuff. I don't know what I just did to my camera. Uh, I need to clean out all of this stuff and I need to reorganize all of the books and stuff over here. <sighs> so, that's my problem. And I am drinking an energy drink, so I have the energy, but I'm tired. Does that make sense? I think I showed this in my other video. These are the best energy drinks on the planet. They only have two net carbs, 10 calories. Their ingredients are much better than regular energy drinks. They don't have all the fake sugars in it. More natural. They're fantastic. You find them at Target. This one and the tropical one is my favorite. This is Pina Colada, and the tropical one are my favorites. But I'm tired. <laughs> I have energy, but I'm tired. That doesn't make any sense. I think I'm going to just work table by table. I'm going to tackle this table, then I'm going to tackle that table. That table doesn't really have anything on it except my couch cushion and some stuff in that box. I can't remember. And I'm going to think I'm going to pull some of this down and go through it. I, I think I'll feel better. Those are my little shark posters. So I think if I pull that down, I'll feel better. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't want to tackle that. Ugh. And all of this needs to come down. All of these are going to come down. So I'm going to sit you down and I'm going to get to work in because I only have about maybe 45 minutes before I need to wrap it up today. So I'm going to sit you down and get working.
and show you real quick. I hope that you got a pretty decent angle of me doing stuff. <laughs> Basically moving stuff from one place to another. Um, I got that box empty, got most of that stuff cleaned up there. That um, water jug has to go home, I have to drain it. These I use at the beginning of the year for their beginning of the year riding. They hang out in the hall, they go with our shark theme. Um, that's what they look like. I think they're from Oriental Trading. I'll try to link them down below if you like those. Um, easy to put together, but what ended up happening in our hallway is they didn't stick and they came and redid our floors and I guess they fell on the floor and the floor guys just threw them in the trash. So I have to probably order another pack of them, I think. So anyway, the writing hangs from it and that's the paper that came with it. I just um, plan on making a copy or ordering a new pack. So I've got most of this table um, cleaned off. And then I got the box that was over here empty. It had a lot more junk in it than I remember. It was like um, stuff from one of my shelves that I kind of just had stuff to the side. I think all of this has gone bad, but this, um, these little things, or maybe it's just that top one. I did look through that. But most of that just needs to get put in its home. That box that was sitting over here on the floor is all of my glass sharks, my breakable sharks. I'm not going to put that out yet, so I'm just going to leave it over there. And that was my calendar stuff that was in that box. I just put it over there because I don't know if I'm going to do my calendar slash focus wall the same. Um, I did make a pile, start a pile of stuff that I'm going to be giving to my students in the first day of school or first week of school. Those are their journals. Those are the dry erase sockies and pens that they'll all get. So I just decided I was going to put it back here because this was the easiest place at the moment for me to do it. Boxes of workbooks that they send out. I still don't know what I'm going to do with these. My thinking is on those, I might put them over there. So I might move that guy down or I might just leave him there since he's kind of tucked out of the way. But I might put him there and I should only have 18 kids. So that's 15. I can take one slab off of here and attach it and it should still fit over there so I, I don't have to have both of them. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one in the meantime. That might go, that might be one of those things that I clear out and go up there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try to tackle any of this today just because I can't get up there and get it all down and feel good about it. <laughs> it's just gonna make a big old giant mess and I don't want to make a big old giant mess. I like working in one mess from, from one mess to another. So I think I'm gonna leave it I can't find my hardware to this, my screws and stuff for that. So I'm hoping I'll stumble upon it. This is a bin of like themed decorations for like holidays and stuff that I put out. So that bin will probably end up going up there as well. Um, but I wanna clean it out. I wanna get in there and clean it out. So I'm just working on that, leaving that there. And then I have to get some command hooks to hang up my busy bags. I think I'm going to hang my busy bags over here because they won't be in the way. And if I have a student sitting or two students sitting right here in group, they'll be up against the wall. I don't have to put a shelf here or anything. I think I can just put them there. And then underneath that is like, um, pocket charts. And this is an all about me set that I used to use a million years ago. And for time purposes, I stopped doing it this way. I've thought about doing it again and putting it like right there or over here, having like a student of the week and have like they're all about me. I've thought about it. I don't know if I'll, if I'll actually do it this year. It's one of those great things that you think about and then you forget and with everything else going on, you forget to set it home, you forget to make it, you forget to do it. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it just in case, but again, my rule is if I don't use it this year, it's going in the trash, so that's that. And then I've just put a whole bunch of stuff on my desk, y'all, so I thought I would walk you through that. I'm going to clean up some of this space over here, and then I'm just so tired. I'm going to go home, um, so it won't be much of a video. <laughs> Part two today, y'all. Um, this is stuff from Target that I picked up. I showed you in one of my last couple of vlogs. Um... I think I'm going to put stuff like this 
in these bins. <sighs> I think. Or I might put what I would normally teach over here. So if it's orange group, then all of their stuff will go in the orange bin. And then if I need something like that for orange group that won't fit in there, then I can put it in the big bin. But honestly, I think I may end up caving and putting, I need to get rid of that bin, y'all, it's so gross. I think I may end up caving and getting, and putting all of that stuff and just sorting it and being like, this row is reading, this row is math. And then, because I don't want it to be out and exposed, I like it better tucked away. I don't know. Y'all leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Should I put it in there and have it tucked inside a bin? Or should I get rid of the bins and have stuff filed on here and use this as like a shelf for stuff? Tell me what you think. Or should I do what I was doing before and keep those as reading uh, as this is my small group bins? Because I could keep books in there, materials, flashcards, all kinds of stuff in there and then use this guy for something else. I have three of these, y'all. I'll probably end up giving them away because <laughs> I don't I don't think I need them. We'll see. So you leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Leave me a comment and let me know what you do for your center bins. All the rest of this stuff, I think I went over. It's just stuff that has to get put away. These need to go in my cabinet. Oh, let me show you these. So, if you see these at Target, snatch them up. These are perfect for how to uh, make a jack-o'-lantern or how to carve a pumpkin. Or even if it's if you don't do, like, Halloween-y stuff like carving a jack-o'-lantern with your kiddos, you could just do um, the um, the life cycle of a pumpkin in it and, and let them do it. So, I've used them for all sorts of things. I always buy them every year I see them. These were my leftovers from last year. So I need to get a couple more sets. That book I need to put away. Those need to go in my filing cabinet with the other extra supplies that I have. I didn't end up using these guys today. My kids just aren't ready for those. So that's where we're at. We think we are making progress little by little. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut off this video for now. Down. I do have to go down and try to catch my vice principal before she goes today. So I am gonna go ahead and sign off for now. I know part two of classroom setup is a little bit shorter. I know I'm making progress. It's kind of hard to see. I want it to like my next one to be completely everything's done other than now I've got to um, make copies and get set up for the first day of school and and whatnot my goal is to have because I'm here this week I'm in training all next week um, so I won't be able to film or do much next week at all um, and then the following week I have a couple days with my kiddos for summer school and then we have um, our back to school flex days so those are the days that I can like seriously be in here and seriously work those few days. But also with everything that's been going on with our house and us not getting much of a break, I may only use one of those days. I've already done one. We're supposed to get three. So I may, I may only do one and then have to do one during the school year and then take like a long weekend. So we'll see. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today with classroom setup because I need to go get my kids and I will see you guys for part three. Bye.